Hello there, I am Giant Grodd with more Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we got here to Sleepport City. We delivered the- oh wait, no, we talked to Doc, apparently, who was Captain Stern's assistant making the blueprint for a submarine, or whatever. We also had battles on the beach, and we saw that Team Aqua is in Sleepport City, but we cleared the line, magically, and we're gonna go back into the- uh, we're gonna go into the Oceanic Museum. So... Yeah, welcome to the Oceanic Museum, the entrance fee is $50, sure, or 50 cents, you know. 50 cents at the end of the museum, that's pretty cool right now. Talk to this guy, he'll be all shocked. Aye, what are you doing here? Me, I'm the Team Aqua member you trumped before. Remember? Back in the rush to frontal? Here, take this, you have to forgive me. See, I'm 46 which is thief. It's a really bad move. I guess... I've been I I guess I use I use it in Pokemon X and Y on like a, my lucky tongue, not my shiny lucky tongue, but my a regular lucky tongue that I have. Basically, it steals the held item of a Pokemon. And what I do in X and Y about um with using Thief is I go and encounter a lot of love discs and 50% chance they have a heart skill. And so I use Thief to take their heart skill if they have one on them, and I have a bunch of heart skills that way. And heart skills we get into later in the game. But basically, they're they're just an item to um, trade a move to do to learn um, old moves that your Pokemon might have forgotten, which is going to be very important later on in the game. I, mean, I don't, I probably won't use it, but it's always there, so that's awesome. I didn't have 50 cents, so I took a long time getting by the receptionist. How did they not see you? Look at that. How could they not see you? Like, I'm walking through there and, oh my gosh, that's just weird. Anyway, let's go upstairs. Oh, looky, who are you? Let's talk to you. Yes, if you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, those must be the parts I ordered from Mr. Stone of Devon. Thank you, that's great. We can prepare for expedition now. Hee <laughs> hee, hold it. We'll take those papers. Our parts, <laughs> What? Who, who are you people? We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants those Parts. So shut, so shut your, shut your app and fork them over. Interesting. Let's battle then. I got speedy up in the front, so in case you guys were wondering. Oh yeah, let's take it. Let's take down this grunt. Let's make him grunt all the way home. Grunt, grunt, grunt. And we're gonna use headbutt on it. Hopefully, it will flinch it too. Okay, one hit. Yeah, that works too. Rough skin, ouch. Yeah, Sharpedo's and um, Carvanas have that ability. For them. I'm pretty sure that's their main ability. They might have a hidden ability. I don't know what it is though. But it does a little damage to you if you use a physical attacking move. Oh wow, kid beat me. Thanks for the $3, man. Oh man, what a disaster. The boss is going to be furious. <laughs> Shuffle Grumpel, let me take care of this. We're battling diagonally. Oh yeah. I got- I like the music from Team Aqua and Team Magma, it's really nice. A Zubat, huh? Let's take this thing on. Again, our strategy is just to just, just spam headbutt. That's all we do. Very nice, oh yeah. Yeah. Carvana, huh? I'll stay in. This Carvana might have- this Mike Carvana most likely has some skin too, but I'll want to KO this thing and we'll bam, we're done. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I know. Poor, poor Speedy. Anyway, we defeated the Team Aqua Grunt. What? I lost too? Now what? If we don't get those parts, we're in for it. Arg. I didn't count on being meddled by- Metal, being metal with some meddling kid. What does this Scooby do? Like seriously? I came to see what's taking so long to snatch some parts and you shimps are held up by a mere child. We are Team Aqua and we love to see. And I, the Team Aqua's leader, Archie. Or I am, I don't know. What makes you interfere with us? No, you can't be. You're not one of Team Magma. Wait, that can't be right. You're not dressed for the part. Pokemon people, all life depends on the sea. So, Team Aqua is dedicated to expansion, to the expansion of the sea. Don't you agree? 
what uh, we are doing is magnificent undertaking. I think I, spent, I think I met her that wrong. Well, ah, uh, fine. You're still too young to understand a noble objective. But I warn you, don't ever consider interfering with your friends again. The Kunkutsuken system costs you dearly. And don't forget it. Interesting. You're okay. Uh, you're, ah, okay, you're Gretel. Anyway, that was a tense situation. Thank you for saving us. Ah, yes, I almost forgot that you ever even brought the parts from Devon. Yeah, hand it over to Devon Goods. Whoops, there's no time to lose. We have to set out on our Ocean 4 expedition really soon. Thanks again, but now I've got to go. Feel free to wander around to check our facilities, though. And he has a free Pokemon, nice. Okay, so let's see, we got a ship right here. SSN from Kanto, I guess. It would pick up the luxury liner that circles the globe. Nice. We did that back in Pokemon Leaf Green. We at least brought the ship. Or, yeah, we, yeah, we brought on the ship. The Fairy SS Tidal. A scale replica of the ship under the construction of the stone shipyard. Now, I think this will be an after game thing. So, yeah. And this is the summary they want to do. They, they want to build. Submarine Explorer 1. A replica of the high performance ocean floor exploration summary. How nice. That's awesome. And now Evan's just gone. You know, they, they booked the joint. They booked it. Oh, look at you. Oh, it's Scott again. Huh, I'm sure I met you somewhere before. Have I introduced myself to you? If it's not, if not, my name's Scott. I just saw two Magnum ran away from here like they were stung. Let me guess, you drove them away? Hmm, maybe just maybe, this trainer. Alright, I think you're going to become a good friend. So let's register each other in our Pokenavs. Yeah, that's something I, I that's someone I actually wanted my Pokenav actually. Which is required anyway, so you know. What do what I'd like to do is tag along with you, but I'd want to keep an eye on the talents of other people too. So I offer so I'll be off to roam other towns a bit more. Be seeing you, Gretel. We also bought the harbor mail in the last part. Let me just check, double check if I actually have it. I'm pretty sure I bought it. I'm like almost sure. Yeah, Harbor Mail. Before you leave Sleepport for this first time, you want to buy one Harbor Mail from the Pokemon. That's just, it'll work out good. Okay, right here in this house is the Name Raider. So, yeah. But, I don't really need nicknames, because I have them like, I have Speedy, Blaine, Shrooms, Knight, Prime, and Peter. Basically, all my Pokemon are my, um, nicknamed already, because I nicknamed them right after I caught them. So yeah, there's that. Go in here, and actually Scott is right there, uh, bumps into you again. Oh hey, if it isn't Grodel. Grodel, let me guess, you're going to take on the Battle Time Challenge? Not really. Uh, yes, yeah, that's a great, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. A really great idea. After all, a tough trainer is a perfect fit for the Battle Tent. Give it your best effort. I don't want to go in there. Well, I'm going in there, but I don't, I'm not going to take on the Battle Tent Challenge. I don't really like bug Pokemon, but maybe I'll try using some for a cha change of pace. Who knows, I might even get to like them. Nice. Now I think one of these gives you an item. One of these people. You can battle you can battle all you want here, even if you're a Pokemon even if you don't have any tough Pokemon. So, like I couldn't find myself any Pokemon that were like for me. So I figured like hey, I should file a complaint to that guy there. And he wouldn't hear me out. Like, hey, so like Total Bummer Man. Hey, like you, zip it. You know, just, you know, take this. Oh, this guy gives you a TM. I thought, I thought I'd get the, um, the berry pouch or something. Not the berry pouch, actually. Um, that one case that, um, I don't even know. It's like a case or something. But that's probably in Ruby and Sapphire. A torment, that's nice, yeah. Wouldn't it be nice that if they had more suction? Sure, I'm out here. So, let's go see that TM. Okay, sorry for that interruption. I'm going to my TM's torment. Prevents the foe from using the same move in a row. So, 
I guess this would be effective against my my um primes rollout because rollout you send the same time in the rollout. But I don't, but that's like a good chain kind of thing. I don't know. So you can't use like from the same move in a row. So you wanna say like one move did half. HP on a Pokemon you were facing, in someone used Torment, you couldn't be able to use the same move that did half in the next turn because it would prevent you from doing that, basically. So, I guess that's really good strategic wise, but I don't really, it's not for me really, so I'll just, you know, pass on that. But if you want to um, be strategic like that, I bet you can accommodate it in you guys' teams. But for me, I don't really think I need it. Oh look, it's Professor Barch. Professor Birch, oh Brutal, imagine seeing you here, and what, and where, my, maybe. Oh, I see you two are running separately. Well, that's fine. Oh yes, I heard that your Pokenav had the magical system installed. Well then, I should register you in my Pokenav as well. That's why. That way, even when we're apart, we can, we can make your Pokedex anytime. So, two cool guys in my Pokenav right now. Well, nice. Brutal. Please keep an eye out for, me, my, for my maid. Well, I'd rather... Well, I'd... Well, I'd... Oh my gosh. Well, I had better get going. See you again, Brutal. I don't know why I struggle with that dialogue so much. It's just something with me. You know if you watch my videos, I struggle with dialogue. Hey, let's go on Cycling Road. Sorry, you can't walk on Cycling Road. It's too dangerous. Please come back when you have a bike. But please come back with a bike. Again, I'm emphasizing the all caps on that bike void, because it's all in capital letters. So, let's see here. I'll keep, I'll keep speedy up front. I think we only do a couple battles in this part. In fact, we might only, I want to get this double battle out of the way. So let's just do this double battle and then I'll end the part. That sounds about right. Aha, okay, I didn't read your dialogue. When cute Pokemon help each other, you won't see a more enjoyable sight. Well, someone's excited for a battle. I think I was my second slot, but we'll see in a second. Oh, look at those wham words, that baby Pikachu, or that baby in the Pikachu costume. Pokefan Caleb and Pokemon Pokefan Isabel. Plus one mind, oh great. This fight can really drag on if if you if you don't have like... I don't know, I know it's, you can struggle on this, but yeah, it's not fun. So let's use headbutt and double team, or head, oh my gosh, headbutt and double kick. Helping hand. I, I I don't get the purpose of that really. Like helping hand. I really don't know. I can't really say about it, but I don't really like it. I mean, I like it if someone's stupid enough to use it. I mean, if you know what I mean. But yeah, there we go. Taking out two of this Pokemon. Ooh, level twenty-one. Yeah. Sand attack. No way, no way, no how, no how, no how, no way, man. I will not want sand attack for my plane. It's the same thing. I think it's them, they each both have A plus and A minus. So combined, they have two puzzles and two minus. So yeah, there we go. Level 21 for Speedy, yeah. And one more Pokemon is a puzzle. Now, I don't, for my pick, if I were to choose between puzzle and minus, I would probably pick up um, um, Minum because I don't know I like Minum better he was kind of blue I like the color blue more than I like the color red honestly so I don't know why but yeah in my first um, playthrough of Pokemon Ruby before my walkthrough got on it I used a Minum actually and it turned out really good I mean it wasn't the best I mean I could have chose Main Magic which would have been better or Magnemite or something but you know it's I liked it honestly that wasn't close to what I could do to show off my Pokemon. I'll have you as my ca ca captive audience as much often as possible. And we're forced to register her in a Pokemon. What do you have to say? Okay, okay, you've done your best. You've done the best you could, my pretties. And let's put. Okay, I, guess. I think everyone will be a good up front, and yeah, so I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon off screen, I guess. So, this has been then my Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough Guide part, 
In the next part, we'll take on what lies north of Slayport City and fall we get to the next city in the next part. That's nice. Guess this is trying to go again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough Guide.